Hey. Hey. What's up, bro? How you doing hey. out there? Hey, man. Yeah, it's Monday. It's an all-out show. Oh, man, I'm missing you already, man. It was fun out there in New York. I needed to, uh, I was, whoo, buddy, that's just, that's tiring going out to New York <laughs> and raging. Shit. I don't know how y'all do it living out there. Man, and you love just at a great time because if about to feel like Antarctica out here soon. I came out here, it was like 70 degrees, man. I know that shit sounds awesome to a lot of people, but you know, a guy like Jude just trying to, just trying to, you know, yeah, get yeah. my autumn layering on. You know, I got a lot of country <laughs> gentleman looks that I'm trying to hurt motherfuckers with, but it's yeah, just not yeah. working. Them young socks and them young jeans, brother. I hear you. Damn. You know what I'm saying? The young, yeah, the yeah, the sock game. Looking like and like Flint. You never saw and like Flint. And like Flint? Yeah. Nah, I didn't. It was a, wasn't that like a sixties or seventies movie? Yes, sir. It was like uh, the original, like kind of like the 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 pimp version of James Bond, but it was dope. Oh, word. Yeah, my mom's put me on back in the days. It's it's really dope. You need to watch it. And like Flint, it's fun. He gets all I the bet. holes and he fucks up and, and fights. Yeah, yeah, it's dope. That's how I feel. I feel like I get all the holes, except for I don't get all the holes. It's been so long since I got pussy. I went from going being really horny to like my dick going up inside my body. I'm like an asexual now. <laughs> it's fucking weird. I don't know how long I'm gonna go. I don't know how long I'm gonna go with this fast. But you know. But you know. You know. I notice that like chicks try to holler at you more the less horny you are. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. When I was in New York, bitch was throwing it at me, and I was just like, "No, thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm fasting." It's like when you don't want it, they try to throw it at you. It's that's the whole deal. Like when a guy's taken, when a guy's got a girl, the girls can smell that shit on him, and it's like a cat. Like a cat, when a cat knows that you don't like it, what does a cat do? <laughs> It walks up to you, it rubs its, rubs its little fucking cat body on your leg, throws up his tail, shows you his asshole, fucking walks around you, fucking flaunting its butthole and pushes his face up into your leg. It's the same deal with chicks. When they know that you don't want it, they do all that shit. Shoot. This was fucking straight trying to holler when I was dressed up as a bunny rabbit. <laughs> I was an adorable bunny rabbit. Yeah, I I'm saw telling the you. bunny. I saw it, man. I'm telling you. When well, anyway, anyway, so yeah. you should just pretend like you don't want them bitches, and then they try to throw it at you. Oh, shit. It works. I'm telling you. True, true. Try it. It works. Um, this is uh, you know, I'm going on vacation for two days. I'm taking two two days vacation today and uh, tomorrow and the day after. Oh shit! It's gonna be awesome. All right. All right. I got Bernie's vacation days here, so uh, yeah. Bernie's is that? I'm gonna burn them. I gotta oh. burn them bitches. You if I don't live. burn them, I, I if I don't use them, I lose them, son. Nah, nah, I hate you, doggy. You gotta do what you gotta do. Man. Yep. You guys gonna be Jew free tomorrow and the day after. Yep. Damn. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Oh all. man, come on. Man. Mm-hmm. It's mm -hmm. Say How do I did the... Put that shit on. Put that shit on. Yeah, man. wait, wait, wait. wait. Why'd you, you always brushing me? I... You always brushing me. Say goodbye. Don't let me find it on YouTube before you can find it on your show. How can I... Don't some of uh, boys and men listen to the show? Yeah. The, the homie, man. Damn, I think it's Sean. I thought we got the Philly cat. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is the problem with these religious assholes. What's going on? You like the way I just jumped in on that I, one? This just, is the problem. It's like we were already talking. <laughs> <laughs> Besides just being dumbasses because you're, like, religious. I know, look, I'm just gonna, I'm, just, I'm gonna piss everybody off. 
Whatever you need to believe in to make you fucking happy, don't let me stop you. My family's Catholic. You know, half of them got to go to fucking, they think, they literally think that they're eating Jesus' body. Eating it? I swear to God. My grandma swore up and down that, like, by dipping the fucking little wafer in the wine and having the child molester give it to you, that's the priest. Having the fucking boy rapist give it to you, that's the priest. Uh, you eat it, you're eating Jesus, which makes you a cannibal, and uh, I don't know what else it does. Yeah, I saw the chicken wine when I was little, yeah, okay. I think it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Cannibalism is cool. In the Catholic Church, you are eating fucking Jesus. I know you're gonna. I'm gonna get a lot of you, God, motherfucker. Hey, I get it, man. God is awesome when you're in jail or fucking, you know, got cancer, enslaved. No one else. To, you got nothing else. You're fucked. So you're like, what can I? You got to believe in some imaginary shit to help you get through. But I'm here to tell you that you got the strength to get through on your own. You don't need imaginary shit to get through. All you got to do is have faith in yourself. You will get through that shit. That said, here's the problem with some religions. It's like they just believe in what they believe so much that they got to fucking ruin it for everybody else. And in Albuquerque, New Mexico, some dipshit was given out anti-abortion flyers to children when they were trick-or-treating so along with your candy like here's a lollipop and you know and you know let's be real I've waited on Christians they're the cheapest motherfuckers ever they're they're the 10 percent tippers they're fucking sitting 20 deep at a table ordering goddamn the the appetizer platter onion rings <laughs> fucking cheese sticks and shit fried zucchini Don't say coming that. out to 10 bucks and shit oh, fucking man. sitting there all night tipping me four dollars maybe <laughs> three maybe Damn. two maybe I know you Christians you fuck I know you're broke you're giving 10% to God you don't got 15% for me so you know this Christian motherfucker that was handing out the anti-abortion flyers was probably giving out a tootsie roll Oh, old. budget ass son of a bitch. What do some of the flyers say? I am not a clump of cells. I am a human being. And it's got like a fetus. <laughs> what the fuck? You're giving it to kids. They're not even ejaculating yet. As a matter of fact, like if you're ejaculating, you shouldn't be trick or treating. Really. You got like a year of ejaculation. You got like a year of busting a nut window before you get to you got to stop trick or treating. For girls, you go a little bit longer because a lot of you chicks start bleeding around eleven. Eleven. Yeah, you, with the chicken and shit. <laughs> chicks are bleeding mad early now, sir. Damn. Tons of chicks. Fuck yeah, little fucking little. 11, 12-year-olds getting their periods. So, trick or treat. So this guy is basically giving out, giving out his fucking, turning, turning Halloween into like a platform for him to push his ideals. And now the, now the parents got to have a conversation with their kid about abortions. I'm all for abortions, by the way. As a matter of fact, a lot of people need to have abortions. And sometimes I'll see kids that I'm like, man, they should have killed you. Yeah, okay. Or I'll see parents like, why are you reproducing? Like, we don't need any more of you in this world. We're, we're good on you. Like the fucking, the fucking gully-ass Puerto Rican bitches walking around, fuck it, walking around with their budget-ass... Halloween costumes with the kid with the bucket on the head, <laughs> fucking cussing each other out in front of their children. Lisa, Lisa! <laughs> Fuck that! I told him. I can't even do a fucking Puerto Rican accent. Lisa, sit down. It's nice outside. Trick sit down. Fuck you. 
Yo, go do that nice man right there. He's stupid nice. That's a for a tweet. Get some, give me a blunt leaf, you little faggot. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Do he have like skim milk for so we can make rice tonight? Yeah, that, yeah. I I'll show you a I'll show you whole neighborhoods where like yeah they should die. Like yeah, of course abortions are Come cool. on, stop it, man! No, don't say that. These fucking Christian assholes act like there's a people shortage. Yes, I'm for abortion. I'm for the rights. Of a motherfucker to decide what grows in their belly. I'm also for the right of a fucking Christian asshole to put fucking anti-abortion shit in little kids' bags. But I'm also all for me telling you that you're a dumbass Christian dipshit. <laughs> Handing out flyers doesn't have anything to do with religion. Hello, Ashley in Georgia. Hi. Um, yeah, I do not agree with that person handing out flyers to kids because they have, you know, they don't know anything about it, but I don't think it has anything to do with them being Christian. I could see someone handing out stuff on global warming or just like that lady handed out stuff about uh, kids being obese. I don't think it has anything to do with a religious factor at that point. I think that but this is uh anti anti abortion is uh religiously charged. You don't see a lot of atheists that are anti abortion. You see a lot of Christians who are anti abortion. It's a it's a it's a very Christian thing. It's a very uh religious religious Yeah, movement. and I definitely agree with that, but I don't think So I, I So yeah, in this case it's it has everything to do with their religion. But I, I just feel like you're trying to say, like, that's the wrong time to, obviously that's the wrong time to push your belief on that. But anybody would take advantage of, or a lot of people have been taking advantage of Halloween and kids coming around to push whatever it is that they feel, whether it's religiously charged or not. not no, not really. And that last one, the last, that one story we did ended up being a lie about the fat kids. <laughs> that ended up being a lie. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I I cleared that up at the very end. I it got back to me that it was a lie. It was a, it was a radio. Oh, I prank. saw it on the uh, Huff Post. I thought. Um, yeah, yeah, it was a radio yeah. prank. It was a prank. Oh. But so yeah. Yeah, but so but many people. Let's be real. Like how many, that. Ashley? How you went trick or treating? How many candy bars you get? And how many fucking like flyers have you gotten? I mean, that's true. I've never gotten exactly. flyers. I haven't trick or treated okay. in forever. Well, but, all right I mean, then. So are yeah, doing crazy things now. S so, Ashley, I feel like you're getting a little offended. You're probably, like, probably Jesus Christ is your personal Lord and Savior, and you feel like I'm shitting on him. I'm not. I'm not. But you guys need to, instead of getting mad at me, you guys need to, you all you Christians need to go check these fucking real dumbass Christians who act like idiots. Really? What happens is you, a lot of y'all Christians, let this shit slide. You don't fucking police yourselves. You're like, oh, it's okay, you know, well, abortion is wrong, so blah, blah, blah. Like, yo, no, go check this motherfucker. No matter how you feel about abortion, there's a time and a place. These kids can't even bust nuts yet. They shooting blanks. They're shooting blanks. Why are you talking about pregnancy to these fucking children right now? It's inappropriate. It's not your place. Paul in Chicago. Yeah, what up? Yo. What's up, Paul? Quit crying like a little bitch, man. You got a fucking baby dick. We're tired of hearing you cry. Play some fucking music, you faggot. <laughs> no. And this is the problem, Paul. You probably believe in God, and I'm, fu I'm fucking shitting on all your beliefs. And so you can't say shit but call up and talk about my motherfucking, talk about my motherfucking shit. And the irony was I was about to go to music. Now I feel like I can't go to music because your bitch ass called up and told me to go into music. And I'm not good at having little fuck boys tell me what to do. So now we got to talk for another 30 seconds. Yeah, take your baby dick up to play the music. Shut your little baby dick.
Play me some music. I want to hear some motherfucking Wiz Khalifa. Play me some Drake. <laughs> Bitch, fuck you. <laughs> Bitch, fuck you. John of Brooklyn. Yeah, man. I don't think, listen, man, I don't think there's anything wrong with having abortions, man. People have to know responsibility has nothing to do with religion, man. All right? You can't get the two confused, all right? You got these young girls out here, they want to play Barbie. No, they don't want to play Barbie. They want to have sex. They want to fuck. They need to know that it's good to use condoms okay. and it's good to have abortions. You don't gotta, I'm not having a million kids, and I can't take care of one. These, these girls out here think it's cool to have a billion kids. It's not cool to have a billion kids. Sometimes it's cool to think about what you're going to do and think about your future and not be a bum bitch. And that nigga who called, that nigga's a loser. You can tell he's not having any type of kids. So why is he even talking about this? Talk about play music. He needs to think about getting support. Yeah. All right, now I'm ready to play music. Now I'm ready to play music. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, Snap, ball down. Bullock's kick is on the way. It's on he the missed way. It. He missed it. He missed it. He missed it. Colts win. Colts win. What a comeback. The Colts win it 27 24. <laughs> and for Andrew Luck, his 10th come from behind. Win in the fourth quarter. Foles, fakes, he rolls, he looks, still looks, fires, touchdown! Riley Cooper tying the Eagles' all-time record with his seventh touchdown pass of the game. That is a 59-year record that has just been tied by Nick Foles. There's the snap, there's the spot, the kick is up, the Seahawks win! They come back from 21 points down, the largest ever comeback for the Seahawks in a game to beat Tampa Bay on a final overtime field goal, 27 to 24. What a game! Ooh, shameful. Ah. We got Steve Nichols here. Shameful. What up, dog? Yo, what up? What up? What up? See us. Jude, what's going on, man? Hello, man? Welcome, welcome back to the show, NFL Channel Extraordinaire. Uh, <laughs> a lot of good games, but really, what's been blowing up the whole uh, radio world and shit like that is the the Miami Dolphins, Richie Incognito, and uh, Jonathan Martin, little problem that they got going on there yeah man yeah that, that that's been crazy man it's been wild man and it's like this is the this is it's something that started last week with jonathan martin leaving the team you know saying that he was getting bullied and it's just been kind of like blowing up out of control seeming like on a daily a daily basis i gotta tell you so let's uh so basically what happened was and more shit came out uh mm -hmm. he left the team said he was getting bullied I went on the air yes last week and was like, that's kind of some bitch shit leaving the squad because you said you're getting bullied. And then all of this shit came out from he, they're both offensive line. Uh, yep. Incognito, Incognito is a uh, he's a veteran. He's been in the league for a while. A and, and Jonathan Six, seven, Martin eight. is a rookie, and he's had some problems at other at other teams. He's, the guy seems like a total fucking asshole. Yeah, he is. Uh, <laughs> and he was leaving. He was leaving fucked up voicemails. Right? Yeah. Calling every, them uh, N words yeah, and shit. Yeah, racially charged. Like, like that? N word? He said, yeah, he was, he's using the N word, like challenging his family, saying, I'm going to like like defecate in your mouth and the, all kind of type of things, man. Can I read uh, two or three from the Twitter if it's okay? Yeah. Read hey, what's shit. up, you half a nigga piece of shit? I saw hmm. you on Twitter and been training for 10 weeks. I want to fuck you up. I'm going to slap the shit out of you and slap the shit out of your mother across the face when I see you. Is that is that is that what you would call rookie Hazen type stuff? I mean, the rookie Hazen that I know is you probably buy dudes donuts on the weekend or, yeah. you know, you carry their pads. You might yeah. get taped to a field goal, something like that. This is somebody that's harassing you. Oh, here's a problem. though. Here's the here's the problem. I got okay, with let, all let, of this. Let, yeah, the problem? guy's a dick. The mm -hmm. guy's an asshole. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying he's not an asshole, but it doesn't subtract the fact that Jonathan Martin's a bitch, dog. A dude's bitch made. Yo. He had to check himself into the fucking hospital because someone wasn't being nice to him? He had to quit the team that he's making millions on because someone wasn't being nice to him? Listen, man, nobody knows this Get guy's mental... Get the fuck out of here, Nobody dog. knows this man's mental mindset or anything like that. That he shouldn't be in the game. 
Yo, I mean, no. If you can't take someone not being nice to you, then what the fuck are you doing playing football? You know what? We're in the trenches, my dude, Steven. What is the hardest fucking? Where, 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 where's war every goddamn down? Yeah, man, it's between the two. On the, the line. line. Yep, on the line. So what? So how is this fragile motherfucker gonna be claiming bullying? He, first off, he's a grown ass man. Second off, he's supposed to be a fucking warrior. I'm no. not saying that this dude. I'm not saying that Cognito is cool. I'm not saying mm -hmm. that shit. But like, yo, dude, really? You had you got to go run and check yourself into the fucking into a hospital, man? Get the fuck out of here, yo, boss up. And that's the thing too, man. Like right now, he's 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 away from the team. The team's saying he's away with an illness. At some point in time, he's gonna have to come back and he's gonna have to face his teammates. Like I'm wondering what that's gonna be all about. You know what I'm saying? Like even though as as much of an asshole as as Incognito was, you know what I'm saying? He was a starter on the offensive line with that team. This is an offensive line that's atrocious, and he was one of their guys. He was one of the starters, and now. Jonathan Martin, whenever he comes back to the team, is going to have to look his teammates in the face. And, you know, what then? You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure there are a lot of players in that locker room that are feeling and thinking the same way that you expressed yourself right now, you know? It's yeah, and no, and, but here's the deal. No one, look, I get it. Like, the dude went over the line. But there's a reason for hazing. That, that, that shit, there's, like, there's, yo. There's hazing, and then there's this. I think this is a little bit beyond hazing. I think this is this, more along hey, the line of harassment. Whatever, dog. Hazing, harassment. Even if he went, even if he OD'd on my man, quitting the team and running away isn't the way to fucking solve a problem as an adult. Now I don't know if it needed to come to fist of cuffs. I don't know if I don't know if the quarterback needed to step in and be like, "Hey, man, chill the fuck out on this dude. Get off, get off this guy. I'm the fucking offensive leader of this team. You need to chill the fuck out, incognito." I don't know what needed to happen, but I know what didn't need to happen. I know that he didn't need to go run away and check himself in. Yeah, that, that, that's that's a probably bad way that's of doing soft. that. But like I said, that's, that's soft. That, it, 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 you could say it's soft, but I mean, I'm not going to judge. Like, I don't know this guy's mental state. I don't know his character. I don't know anything like that. You know what I mean? He could be suffering from some, some kind of illness or something like that that we don't know about. You know what I mean? I can't I can't judge a guy on that. But, um, you know, like I, I said, on, well, the, on the outside I, looking in, you, you coming up with that. reasons. You coming up with reasons, Steve, but the bottom line is if I got somebody that's going to be in the trenches, I need to know that they're fucking beasts. Like I said, man, I'm pretty sure there's people in I that need, locker room and maybe even in the organization that, that might feel that way. I'm saying like this, said, and, and no one and no one's let everyone's letting this dude off the off. Everyone is letting this dude off the hook for being a bitch. Oh, they weren't. That guy wasn't nice to him. People shouldn't <laughs> treat people that way. It's like fucking boss up, sock him in the face if you don't like it. Yeah, I mean, or like fucking it, take it on the chin and keep moving. And there are plenty of rookies who have done this exact same thing for not. Even, like I said, this guy was being harassed by this guy. There are plenty of rookies I've seen in the past when they tried to have him bring donuts or something like that or whatever. They were like, no, I'm not doing that. And then they bowed up and they, you know, handled their business, slugged it out, whatever. Um, yeah, it just seemed like this guy's not built that way at all. Not at this all. A, we got Frenchie in Boston. What's up, Frenchie? What up, baby? First of all, I love your show, man, but I disagree with you this time and your point of view. I usually find you funny, but ain't nobody talking about shitting down my mother's mouth, no matter what that situation is. We've grown. There's a level of hazing that is just not going to fuck you up. So let me ask you this question. If I do this and I get upset and I fuck you up on the team, I now my livelihood's good. I'm labeled a real nigger and not a black man saying that this shit is wrong. I disagree with you, man, for the first time in my life. But here's the deal, Frenchie. If you go run away like he did, now you're now you're labeled a bitch. No, nah, and I tell you, said, he had already said that to the team officials, man. Like this shit's out of control. They never did nothing. Right. So it's either I leave and lose my entire life, because you know he's gonna go to jail if he did something wrong. He, he Ain't nobody happen. gonna dog, Frenchie. You know how many fucking fist fights are in a locker room, dog? Oh, all the time. We love that. that Team. You fuck somebody. That up, never get up. talked about, man. That's all. It, that's all it took was him socking him in the fucking face. No, not like that's the way that he was. And plus, we don't understand the mental, the man's mental status, man. We never address that as a community for black people. We have different pressures, man. If you get upset, what do the white folks say that are racist? That's a nigga getting upset. And not a black man saying, wait, I'm justifiably upset. I can, I, I've been taking this for a long time, and I don't, I'm not Dude. built this way. Frenchie, I, I got I gotta, French, I gotta disagree with you, man. Like, we, we've, we've been conditioned nowadays that if, if a black guy gets called nigger, he can punch somebody in the fucking face for that, and no one says shit. Like, you're good. That's your, get, that's your punch somebody in the face for free card, dog. As I soon as that falls out of someone's mouth, you can bust someone in their ass. 
I just lost a job as a nurse, man, because this dude was nigga shit. And he's not on my level as far as responsibility for clients. And I was like, yo, and I couldn't even file suit on that. Yo, that's a trigger, it's, man. The that... way you know, it's not, you got to treat the person individually. There, that's not street enough for me, man. That's, I mean, all right. oh, hell, but you know, you can't call enough, you can't call somebody else like that. What if I came to your house and did all that shit? Would you First like off, that? it wasn't at my house. So, Second off, second off, like I can deal with someone not being nice to me, dog. We don't, we don't have to, we don't gotta like each other. That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling you on that, but I'm worried about the measurement that we can take that will let somebody understand that when you cross those words that are violent words, what you're gonna do to me, and I get violent, how are you then gonna perceive me? Because after a while, I'm somebody's father, I'm somebody's brother. If, Frenchie, Frenchie, I want someone violent on my football team. I don't want. That's the. That's the thing. I. Don't, you're a nurse. I don't want a violent fucking male nurse. I want a fucking male nurse that's gonna heal people. But yo, dude, on a football team, Frenchie, I need someone that's gonna be fucking cracking skulls. Yeah. Got yeah. beans in Providence. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, Steve. Yo, Go ahead, beans. I don't give a fuck, dude. You right, my nigga. Wow. That's what's wrong with this fucking country. That's why all these motherfuckers hate us. This motherfucker, six five, a grown ass man, gonna let another motherfucker who plays football get paid just like him. I'd have punched that motherfucker in his mouth, man. This nigga having a nervous breakdown. And Steve, you over there co signing this Yo. shit? Yeah, that nigga suffering from bitch assness, man. I don't give a fuck what no one says. Yo, football player, them motherfuckers fight on TV on hard knocks. You see those motherfuckers beefing on practice, man. That dude's a bitch. Yo, Beans, Straight I'm... up and I'm, down the body. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck about that shit, dog. I've been called nigga mad times. I'm a <laughs> short motherfucker, but I'll punch a motherfucker in the face if I feel disrespected because I'm going to hold my shit because that's how my daddy raised me. It's like, yo, y'all man first. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. man first. And if you're feeding that motherfucker, your family playing football, and you go to work, and this motherfucker's talking about shit in your throat, you punch that motherfucker in his face, man. Fuck all that running to the psychiatrist talking about, yo, he's bullying me, and then this, that, and this, and that. I'm like, yo, where the f what happened to these motherfuckers, man? What happened to how pussy these motherfuckers became? Where did they learn this shit? Yo, Beans, I'm glad you feel that way, and I guess that's your opinion and that's your right to feel that way, but not everybody's built like you, man. Yo, listen, right? Everybody ain't built that way because motherfuckers are babying everybody, man. So, you know what I'm saying? This is all that. Oh, everybody so, so gets shit and fucking everybody's a winner. No, motherfucker. So you mean so to tell me anybody, like in any kind of workplace, whether it's at the NFL, whether it's here at SiriusXM, or in some corporate law firm, if somebody's like, harassing you that way, and you'd be like, you know what? Instead of going and knocking the dude out or something like that, you're like, I'm not going to take that. You're just going to go away or something like that. So you prevent yourself from getting into any other kind of trouble. All of a Hold sudden, now you're second, Steve. Steve, you can't compare being a lawyer and being a football nah, player, man, it's, dog. It's, 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 it's two whole different skill sets. And, and being a football player... Innately is some real violent shit. So like different, there's different rules that apply, dog. Nah, but man. Jude, Jude, hold on. The dude is six three, and the black dude is bigger than him. Like, Bro, and here's a, this is probably what it is, Stephen. I, I, this, this is what I'm guessing what it is. Mm -hmm. Martin was a big guy. He ain't got the real. He, he probably a real nice teddy bear motherfucker. <laughs> you know so, what I'm saying? Probably so. Yeah. He's probably a real big, lovable teddy bear, and it's like, hey, this is this this seems like a pretty good place for me to make a living i'm big enough i can i can you know shit old line all they're doing is fucking getting size out there mm -hmm. so he gets drafted to the old line but i guess i guess oh the, i guess the white boy uh exposed him that he don't have any heart and like i said he I mean, doesn't have heart dog and, and that's that, kind of what hazen's about is seeing where your heart is and obviously it's not in his chest and like I said, man, I guess as, as like I said, as days continue to come along, more things are going to come out about this story because, yeah, we're seeing the Richie Cognito side, but the side of things. But, you know, the thing that made him leave the team was he was getting hazed and like harassed and just getting bullied or just picked on by everybody, it seemed like. You know, so who knows what was said between Incognito or the rest of his offensive lineman teammate and things like that that made him just lose his mind and was like, you know what? I'm getting paid a lot of money, but I can't be here right now because this situation right now for me isn't what's best for my well-being or whatever. It had to take a lot to get this guy to leave his contract or just leave the team. And probably, how, you know, how does a motherfucker, Steven, how does a motherfucker get you to give, if I tell you, like, you owe me $15,000 for a trip to Vegas, like, how the fuck, how, do, how does that happen, dog? How do I pay you money 
that I don't owe you, dog. According to him, it's like some jail yard. It's like some jail shit. Like he just keeps getting punked, so people keep fucking. Yeah. He's like wide open. Yeah, it seemed like it. And I mean, like I said, everybody keeps looking at his size, and yeah, he's a big man. But I mean, just because the size of a person doesn't mean, you know, Allen Iverson just retired last week. One of the smallest men to ever play the game. He had probably more heart than anybody out there. I'm pretty sure if you put Allen Iverson's heart in this man's body, he'd be a wrecking crew on the field. But so every not everybody's built that way. You know what I'm saying? And he's got to, you got to be able to, like, especially in the NFL level, you got to be a team. You got to be united to be able to go out there each and every single Sunday to go out there to try to get that W. You need to be a team, man, and you need to feel safe in your work environment. And if he wasn't feeling safe in that work environment, how is he supposed to go out there and perform on the field? How is he supposed to work as a unit with some dude over there that's calling him names and that's bothering him and, like, a group of other we got people t- doing that? We got Tanner in Wisconsin. Yo, what's up? Tanner. Hey. I don't care Go where ahead. it's at. Like you can't be, you can't be talking shit like that, especially like going across the line to racism and stuff like that. Like I realize it's the NFL and they're big dudes and stuff like that. But I mean, I don't care. Like the guy said, that, like a lawyer or who it was. Like you can't be doing that. And even if it is a lawyer, you can compare it because I mean, like it's it's a workplace, it's a work environment, and you can't be doing that shit. Tanner agrees with you. A guy named Tanner. <laughs> there you go. A guy named Tanner agrees there, with there you. There you go, Tanner. Fucking I'm Tanner. You, baby. <laughs> it's not fair. You know, you just got to be nice to everybody. Everybody deserves it. Bullying. Yo, dude, for real, dog. If I got a, if I got a football team and, I, and one of my football players is claiming bullying, I'm cutting his ass <laughs> off rip. Jill, you don't remember that dude that used to play for the Raiders, Rob Gronowski or whatever? He used to fuck everybody Gronkowski? Up. Yeah. I remember we punched yeah, that yeah, little, I dude. think he's talking about Bill Romanowski. Yeah, he said, yeah, he punched yeah. that dude's oh. eye out. And the rookie. Yeah, something, yeah, something wasn't right with that dude upstairs. Well, that but cool. I guess but I guess <laughs> 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 But that's the kind of guys you want playing for your team, right, Jim? Them kind of guys? Yeah, he was a beast. Yeah, he's he, that he guy was, was gonna a be a Hall of Famer. He was a beast. Yeah, he's All right, yo, who do you got tonight for the football game, man? We oh, got man. Uh, yeah, we got Bears and, and the Packers. Yeah, man. The Bears are starting Luke McCown or like Josh McCown, first start of the NFL season. This year, their defense is kind of sleeky. I'm going with the Green Bay Packers, man. And if you got Eddie Lacy on your fantasy team, tonight's probably a good time to play him because he's probably going to have a big game tonight. How's your fantasy team doing? My fucking my the the fucking unicorns and shit are taking the ass whooping right now, dude. I'm four and five. Yeah, man. My, I'm, I'm gonna be I'm about to be four and five right now. I had a uh, I guess all of my starters on bye week. I have Eli Manning as a quarterback, so I had a choice to go between either Jake Locker or Case Keenum. For my oh. spot start this week at quarterback, I chose Jake Locker, who stunk up the joint. And Case Keenum last night on Sunday Night Football lit it up in Houston. Killed. And uh, there Killed. you go right there. That's a bad GM move by myself right there. There it is. Mm-hmm. All right, man, let's play some music. Come yeah. back with the All I Request Hour. That's right. Call it right now. Request what you want to hear. Child. And now it's Sam with the news from the throat. <laughs> from the throat. Well, guys, today in the news... Uh, there's a new app that lets you see your partner's uh, STD test results. Ooh. Pula is here to help you find a clinic and get tested, get the results sent to your phone, and then even share those results on your online dating profile or while you're on a date. Oh. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, Safe. It's kind of, yo. It's it's kind of awkward asking those questions like, hey, you got herpes, you know, shit like that. You want to get out the way. It helps tackle that that fucking awkward conversation. I'm always like, you got anything that like uh, there's no cure for? Before I fucking put my face down there. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. Only once a chick would claim herpes on me, and then I didn't bang, which was cool. I appreciate her. I wish I knew your name. I would shout you out that you had herpes, and thank you. Lucky. Yeah, right? Yeah. That was very cool of her. A lot of people just, you know. We sharing all this other information about ourselves. Like, if I'm about to fuck somebody, I would like to know if they got a disease. They tell you where to go. They're like, "This is the closest free clinic." Yeah, is that they, basically mm-hmm. it. They find a they find the closest clinic to you. They let you know the location. You gotta go. Hey, if you under, if if you got gay people around you, go to them gay clinics. I'm telling you, they do it right. They do it right. Get a good test. 
Because if you go to the fucking, like, the, the, the clinics, like, the free clinics that the state put on, or the Planned Parenthoods, you're just around a bunch of fucking pregnant teenagers. With all their goddamn kids. People just getting out of jail. It's all dirty. You gotta wait a long time. <laughs> go to them gay spots, man. They got something to prove. Look how nice they, look at how nice the gay people do their, decorate their houses. Now imagine, imagine what they can do to a clinic. It's clean, it's tidy, free condoms, fucking awesome. Do what you gotta do. They wanted me to throw a fucking Q-tip up my butt, but I really wasn't into that, so I didn't do that. I just <laughs> pretended like I did. They're like, go and put a Q-tip up your butt. I'm like, I'm not gay, I don't really, uh, they don't really put things in my butt. They're like, just do it anyway. I was like, yeah, sure. So I went in there, I fucking <laughs> cracked a Q-tip in half, put it in there. They're like, you know. Other than that, it was fucking awesome. Other than them wanting, wanting you to put a Q-tip up your butt, it was awesome. Q-tip up your butt. Yeah. Well, fuck was like, it's all, you only gotta put it up an inch. I'm like, I'm good, man. <laughs> I ain't putting that shit up nothing. Hey, put it right Son? What else in the news there? Also, in Manny the throat. news, hairline. What's that there, Manny Throat? <laughs> You're so stupid. Man Throat the Ninja, riding a dragon at work. Oh, my God. Can I do the news here? Yeah, go ahead, man. Also, also in the news. Sorry, I mean to fuck uh, it up. You're fucking it up, dude. Excuse me for living. Tennessee High School uh, stirs up controversy when they segregate students at lunch based on their grades. Damn. Damn, man. Mm-hmm. So, uh, basically, they got on one side of the lunchroom, people, kids with uh, 80 or above. And then on the other side, if you have lower than an 80, you get segregated. That's wild as fuck. I would, I'd be curious to see what the what the lunchroom looked like. I obviously would have been on the retard side. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad, you know. Sometimes I feel like the weak students need to be around the stronger students so that they can see what right. the stronger students are doing. Right, that's, you know, and, that's right. And be encouraged. That said, I, I could have been around the strongest students in the world. It wasn't going to make me fucking try any harder. I just, you know, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck. And I bet, yo, and you know whose side of the lunchroom is going to be livest. The dumb motherfuckers. The dumb mm. kids are going to be having the most fun. Uh, no, I don't give a fuck about me. shit. Happy birthday! <laughs> I've been over there with the retards, helmets and shit, people with the helmets on in class, all that shit. Who wants to play tag? Do, do they show you a picture of what it looked like? Yeah, there's a picture here. I don't know if it's the actual lunchroom, though. Oh, I want to see. You know it's all the motherfuckers. On, all, everybody on one side is going to be all the p p kids with one dad and one mom. And that love each other. And fucking nuclear family ass. You know, tell me they're just study. That type of shit. And then everybody, all the other kids with like the fucking single parents whose mom can't get on their heads to tell them to do the work and shit. And going to be over there fucking off. Throwing things at the, the, at the hall monitors. What are parents saying about this? Well, I mean, they're upset about it. They That's feel like what it's they sick. said. They said we're upset. <laughs> That's what it said. Give me a second. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should read the whole fucking thing, wait, Seer. Wait. Yeah, hey, excuse me. Watch your mouth. She's pulling a Seer right now. Watch your mouth, Master. Paul Moorcroft, who has a special needs daughter in the tenth grade, said, Thanks. "To me, it's considered separation because you have your special needs kids and the kids getting the good grades on one side and the kids getting below an eighty on the other side." He Here's called the, the policy um, a civil rights violation and segregation, no doubt. Let's be real, like you fucking like he whether he wants to admit this or not. Like I'm not for all this shit. Like I like I said, I'm not for all of this. But let's be realistic. If you got like a retarded kid if you got a special needs kid it's not like she's sitting with the fucking smart kids anyway people tend to self-segregate anyway go to a lunchroom i remember my lunchroom there was a black table the mexicans over there fucking all the rest of the jocks over there the nerds over there the white kids over there i went to a mostly white school so there's white kids everywhere but like you know what i'm saying 
People self-segregate. I don't agree with it, but I think they're going a little crazy, making a big deal about it. I, and I don't see it lasting that long. What else is in the news there, Sam? Also in the news, um, a Siberian teenager sells her virginity for $27,950. What is that, like fucking five million shekels or whatever the fuck they pay in over there in Siberia? It's 900,000 rubles. 900,000 rubles. <laughs> she can buy herself a couple sled dogs, some furs, shit like that. How she look? Does how does she look? Does she look good? Was the pussy worth two thousand twenty seven thousand dollars? She looks okay. Her nose looks a little fucked up. Looks here. Oh shit! How come I don't have the she pictures of right. these chicks? She look like uh. Why don't you send me the picture of the pussy? I want to see what they paid for. It's in the rundown. It's in the rundown. Oh, I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look it up right now. So who fucked her? Uh, the buyer's name was Ev. Ginny Volnov of oh, Volnov <laughs> Evgeny What is it? Evgeny Evgeny Volnov I figured you'd be better at reading that type of shit since you're fucking married to one of those type of people <laughs> oh, You're fucked up, dude Damn. Yeah, you know, those fucking old half of communist ass motherfucking Iron Curtain yeah. 12 consonants in a row ass motherfucker Where's it? Where's it? In the rundown? All right, let's see this. Mm -hmm. Dog, don't you? I kind of want to have enough money. This is like, that's when you made it. You know what I mean? You made it when you start buying bitches virginity. Before, I always used to be like, I'm, no way I'm going to pay for a virgin. Fuck that. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, her nose is big as hell. She got a yeah, fucking... Yeah, I told you. She got schnauzer. She got a Kardashian nose. <laughs> She rocks. looked like a Kardashian, like pretty in the face with a giant fucking nose. Yeah. Fardashian. But like before, I was always like, fuck banging a, fuck banging a, virg a virgin. They can't take the dick. They don't know what they're doing. You're going to get a toothy blow job. They're going to complain, all that shit. But like, think about it like this. I didn't think about it like this. Wouldn't it be nice to have so much money? You're like, go fucking buy a virgin today and fuck them and set them free. <laughs> Hey, free, please. You know what I would do too? For twenty-seven thousand dollars, I would eat a bunch. I would jerk off first, so I get one nut out of the way before she even shows up. I would eat a bunch of Vi uh, Viagra and Vicodin. Vicodin because it's hard to nut on Vicodin, and Viagra because my dick would just stay hard, and I would get my twenty-seven thousand dollars worth of pussy out of her ass. I throw another ten grand just for the booty hole. God, that sounds fun. It makes me want to work harder now. I'm going to work harder so that I can buy a virgin. That's my goal. Like That's virgin. my goal. Hey. When did you lose your mouth virginity, Sam? You're so stupid. <laughs> You're so stupid. There's no when I was 11, yeah. dog. Who is that? Who there's, is that? There's no, there's no such thing as, like, mouth virginity, though. You lost your mouth virginity when you were 11, Sam. When you were 11. I think I was 12. Whatever. Whatever. That's... Pff. Tell you what, let me do the calculation. It says you're a slut here, according <laughs> to my calculation. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, dude. According to my calculator, it says you're a fucking trollop. Congratulations, <laughs> you 12-year-old dick sucker. What else is in the news there, Sam? Also in the news, uh, an 80-year-old man survives after falling off a cliff while fighting a bear. <laughs> uh, what? Was it a radio bear? It was me. <laughs> it might have been a radio bear. I didn't know what I was doing. Yusuf Alkagirov, an 80-year-old <laughs> Russian shepherd who was minding his own, his own business in a raspberry. What the fuck is his name? He was minding his own business in a raspberry, like just picking raspberries? Yeah. When he was attacked by a large hungry bear. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, why you attack that man? I didn't know I was just hungry. <laughs> Everybody keep poking at me all this fucking Yo, you know she just bear. read this story just so that she could say radio bear and I shit. know, I saw fucking giggling the whole time. <laughs> Rather than let the predator get the best of him, 
Alka Girov counterattacked. He managed to knock the bear off balance with a flurry of kicks and headbutts. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, so he got beat up by an old shepherd. I know. Okay. Unfortunately, this beating failed to phase the furry attacker, and the bear responded by knocking the shepherd off a nearby cliff. Yeah, can you <laughs> she's laughing her. Own. I know. It's funny because she finds it funny. It's I just know. funny because she thinks it's funny. She fucking, saw bear and thought of you. Fucking Korean I'm Jennifer Beals. Be a... I like this. It's great. I'm feeling. Radio Bear doesn't like being called Radio Bear. I don't like Radio being called Bear is upset. Because I'm upset and I'm mad. Radio, Radio Bear. bear. Heard another story being read about Radio Bear, and it triggered some type of anger and animosity. Radio Bear has taken to repeating after the <laughs> the narrator. When Radio Bear is not repeating after the narrator, he's sucking dick through a straw. I didn't repeat that one, did you, Radio Bear? <laughs> You suck dick anyway. <laughs> Radio Bear employed that I know you are, but what am I? Famous. Since the fourth grade. Doesn't work that well on radio for Radio Bear. Keep your job. Do what the boss tells you. Where does that come from? Hey, and that was uh, news from the throne. Radio Bear is jealous <laughs> that people do their job right and he gets shit on. But that's okay for Radio Bear. He'll live to fight another day and forge for more jokes Did my job longer than you, in the wilderness of Harlem. Did my job longer than you, sister. Go back to Detroit. You're not from there anyway. Uh, the news, it's on. It's there. You got more stories? I don't think so. Hello? Actually, it's Radio on. Bear, I have one more story. <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> 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 that was it. I have the ten strangest facts about penises. Ooh. I'm gonna read three only three today. Hey, Radio yo. Bear loves penis. Hey, yo. When he's not eating hamburgers, he's eating penis. Wasting time. Radio Tell Bear often says they're wasting time. time. When they when people talk about things he doesn't like to hear about. What do you got? All right, so, the, so number 10 is every penis was a clitoris. Every penis in the womb starts as a clitoris before hormones sex the brain of the to-be male. The penis retains the mark of its female heritage, its dark underskin and a thin ridge or seam known as the raft, which runs from scrotum to anus, are remnants of diffusion of the vaginal lips. So wait, this, that little brown shit around, like the little darker shit around the back, like underneath my dick, is for, used to be a clitoris. Yeah, well, it used to be like the vaginal lips. That was my pussy lips. Mm-hmm. I know I used to have a pussy. That's crazy, son. Everybody used to have a pussy. Yep. That's wild. Like the actual penis was the clitoris. Radio Bear still has a clitoris. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! If you listen closely, oh, you'll notice that Radio Bear has employed fake laughing to show that he's dis oh, disapproving so of these jokes. Now Radio Bear is blurting out random sounds, doing scat. He's confused and disoriented. Radio Bear just wants music to be played. <laughs> He's feeling threatened, Radio Bear is. But don't worry, it's going to be over soon enough for Radio Bear. Is that it? Number nine is uh, fetuses have erections. Oh, God. <laughs> fetuses have erections? Yeah, you'd be surprised, but actually, when a lot of kids are born, they come out with their dick hard. Because they ain't some pussy. Yeah. Right? 
I guess. It's hard because they in some pussy. It's their mom, but I guess so. They don't know that yet. You know what I'm saying? They don't know that. Someone got to tell them. Someone got to tell them they in some pussy. It's crazy. Uh oh. Word is bond. What else, man? And the last one for today, Jude, is before there was Viagra, there was monkey balls. Um, in order to cure input. <laughs> <laughs> in order to cure impotence, doctors began experimenting with xenotransplantation, which is surgically transplanting testicles from goats, chimps, and uh, baboons into male humans. Thousands of men around the world in the 1920s went under the knife for the supposed belie uh, benefits of what was known as monkey glands. Fuck that, dog. Ain't nobody cut my balls putting some monkey glands up in my shit. <laughs> I just have to have a soft dick. I would just tape a stick to my penis so that it was hard. Like, I wouldn't do all that cutting my motherfucking ball shit. Uh, no way in the world. Mm -mm. No way. No would you way. cut your balls, Radio Bear? Who? <laughs> it went nowhere again. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, too. <laughs> Once again, it went nowhere again. Tracy to come right back. Well, that was Man Throat. Bro, nigga, check it. What you sipping on, nigga? Nigga, I'm on some A&W and seltzer water, nigga. It's the extended drunk mix with Lil' Sin. Lil' Sin. On Shade 45. Shade 45. 45. Somebody over there eating some hot blankets. Sounds great. It goes with this. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, turn it out. Turn that beat out. The God, the sun is shot when I saw when I saw when I went up to the block. When I went up to the block, the block was off the lights. I was scared. I told the cover there's a light there. They said, Lloyd Sear, how do you know my name? Because identification. I read you before. He was at the drawers downstairs. What? He's filling my wife's drawers. He fucked in the ass and erected them. She bled too fast to try to save her. She died in your arms in the staircase. In the staircase, we're on the fourth floor. In the projects, right there down the block, 104th. This is where? Columbus Avenue. You ass on Douglas Projects. You're a bitch, nigga, Lloyd Sear. You have the knowledge. Object to fucking knock her out. I mean, what you mean? Because you put your dick in her back and broke up her spleen. You're crazy. I don't know. Anyway, well, uh, so you killed that shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? And it happens when you battle me. Now, I don't want to battle. I don't want to bring that up. I might have to be, uh, it might be some MC battling tomorrow with Lord Sear. Oh, shit. Tuesday, might be Tuesday and Wednesday. It's going to be a takeover. And I got a special mix for Eminem. Tomorrow, because the album will be really released tomorrow. You know what I mean? Uh, a joint I did called Prelapse. Very dope mix I did. Thank you. Let's go to the phone. I'll see who's out there. Shave 45, what you sipping on? Hello? 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 What you sipping on, fool? Hey, hey, man. Calm down right now, all right? Sorry. Nah, I'm on that. So rock, <laughs> What are you calling my vote? Calling from Waterloo, South Carolina. What's up, everybody in Waterloo? There's only like two people from there. Don't worry about it. Oh. You ain't got to go crazy. Don't go crazy, brother. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's cool, man. You know, I'm going to make you a drink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a cool yeah. doggy right there. Shave 45, hello. Hello? Yo, you live on the air. What you sipping on? Hey, yo, it's cold as fuck up here in Canada. Keeping warm, sipping on some whiskey and Coke. Wow. What kind of uh, what kind of whiskey? Forty Creek. I heard that's some good shit right there. Oh, yeah, the Blacko Juice. What is the Canadian... All right, what is the strongest Canadian whiskey? Oh, uh, when I picked this stuff up, I saw some 45% at the liquor store. But if you go to the better places, you can get some, I think, up to, like, 60 or 62%. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey. Hey, they shave 45. Got B-Dot. A little hoodie on. Come here, B-Dot. Talk to us, man. It's the motherfucking time, man. It's the, it's the alcoholic remix, man. It's the, it's, the, it's the drunk mix right now, man. It's the drunk mix. Yeah, sucker. Give me a drink, man. Well, hold on. Gotta make yourself drink. Well, we ain't got no drink here, but... Shit. Yeah. All I got is 
have drunk water. Oh, man. Where was you at just now? I was with M, man. Okay, okay. Yeah, oh, he, he just finished? Yeah, he just wrapped up the town hall meeting. Okay, okay. It was pretty cool, man. Got my vinyl sign from Marsha Mathers LP. That's dope. That's Original. Dope. I'm about to go with Pawn Stars real quick, see how much I can get for it on eBay or something. Don't tell Paul. Oh, uh, well, hope you ain't listening. <laughs> hey, they shape for five. Let's go to phone lines real quick. Yo, you live on the air with you sipping on? Yo. What up? I'm drinking out something that I created called Twisted Sisters. Blue Gatorade and Absolute Vodka. Damn. Oh, damn. That sound like right. Windex. Yeah, go right to the bloodstream. It is Windex. <laughs> yeah, man. Only from L.A., man. I love your show, man. Keep it up. Oh, man. That was my essays. That's my nigga. <laughs> That's right, homie. I roll with the essays all day. They know me, man. Black Porter Rock, that's me. <laughs> that's right, Mr. Mr. Radio Bear. That's right. I'm the Radio Bear. You didn't know that? The radio Bear. Right. Yeah. <laughs> More like See, a, man? Like Huggy Bear over here. Man, you better watch your mouth. I'm sorry. 12, 12 years of slavery. Shut what up. What you trying to do out there? So, you know what? I'm going to get back. Well, we got one more call? Oh, okay. Yo, B Dot, man. I just want to shout you out because I know you're busy, man. Yeah. Man, you better get the hell out of here, man. Uh, uh, Rap Radar. RapRadar.com. Hit me up, B Dot TM. Twitter, Instagram. Your girlfriend's house, man. That's oh, where I'm at. Shit. I'll see you Wednesday, man. See you Wednesday, brother. NHA 45. Let me play this drive, um from the Blue Chips album, Action Bronson. Let's go. NHA 45, man. Woo. Got to get up on out of here, man. I'm going to play the. The relapse mix tomorrow, hone it down. But next two days, Tuesday and Wednesday, Wednesday, shot the radio bear. He'll be with me too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, when you see her, and she's be with me, radio bear. Lord sent radio bear Tuesdays and Wednesdays. It's eight forty-five. I might be around Thursday. Don't know, but I'll see what to do. It is the all-out show. I'm out one.